A ring was on the line today at Samford. After a months long regular season and two conference tournament rounds, the Alabama Huntsville men's basketball team one win away from cutting down the nets as the Gulf South Conference Tournament champions. But in the Chargers way was one seed West Georgia who they beat in December but lost to by 29 in mid-February. UAH hoping to win their third conference tournament title in the last five seasons. The Chargers played and won a five overtime thriller to get to the championship game. And this guy was one of the heroes, Tommy Murr, with the drive and lay. The Chargers got off to a hot start. It's 8-2. to two. Soon after, it's going to be the big fella, Daniel Saylor. He opts to pass to Tanner Schulman, and he swishes the three. We are tied at 14 apiece. Now, near the midway point of the first half, UWG up, but Tommy Murr's reservation for three confirmed we're tied again at 19 but West Georgia had some shot makers of their own one of them was this guy Swade Jackson bullseye from straight away Wolves up six now and that would by no means be the only three for number three see what I did there as here he is once again pull up hand and face no problem Jackson certainly a handful all game UAH goes into the locker room down 37 to 34. Now the Chargers trailed by double digit points at one point in the second half, but they're going to try and make a comeback here. Cross court to Dalton Dodd. Pull up. Yes, sir. UAH down just five, but championship game MVP Swade Jackson and the Wolves were just too much. This time he's going to pass the ball, and that three ball, well, it frankly hurts. UAH got out rebounded by 19, out rebounded, excuse me, by 19 as West Georgia defeats them 75 to 69. The Wolves win their first GSC tournament title since 2016. And now the Chargers await the NCAA Division II selection show, which has just started at 10 o'clock. Hey, listen, we need to play more basketball. You know, I mean, they're, they're heartbroken. But hey, you, I, some of them are so tired, they can't be heartbroken. I mean, we're exhausted. We had, we had kids play over 60 minutes last night in a, in a college basketball game. And then we asked them to bring it again today, and we played the late game. I, I couldn't ask more from them. So they're disappointed. Uh, but listen, they, they're disappointed that they're messing up their legacy or they're letting people down. Look where we are. We just got to be in the championship. We got a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. Hopefully, later we'll learn later on tonight. We've won 21 games. How are you supposed to be disappointed with that? And so I got to remind them they got a lot to be proud of.